I'm gonna be honest, bro. Um, I kind of like uh, Yuri the most. Ah, I don't know. I feel like Sorori is always gonna always gonna be there. Um, but Yuri is the most quiet. But I also feel like if I don't go with um, Natsuki, like she's gonna like she's gonna have an attitude towards me the whole time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna base most of them towards Natsuki and Yuri. Um, I think that'll be a good good one. So let's do Mouse. Nice. Um, horror. That's uh, that's Yuri. Hey, yeah. yep. Anxiety. That's definitely Yuri. Yes, yes sir. sir. Um, Kitty. That's got to be Natsuki. Perfect. Yep. Heaven Sent. That's definitely Yuri. Oh yes. Yep. Crimson. That's definitely um, that's definitely Natsuki. No. Oh, that's Yuri. Okay. Smile. That's Yuri. No. What? God. Oh. I'm 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 messing this up terribly. Milk. What kind of bro? What kind of words are these? Scars, that's gonna be Yuri. You stupid. Oh, gra graveyard, golly. Let me do a hurt. Oh man, I'm picking, I'm picking uh, Sayori. Alone, that's definitely uh, Sayori. Loud, that's gonna be Sayori, definitely. Bust. Let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Who's special? Parfait. Melancholy, yup. Um. Death. Oh man. Why did that go to her when I picked death? That was Sayori, bro. I don't know, bro. That I don't know. I don't know how that made me feel. Uh climax. Let's go with all these uh Okay, let me I'm gonna choose depression to see who that goes to. So Sayori is depressed and She's thinking about killing herself. I'm confused. I don't know. Like, I don't know, bro. Okay. Um, nature. Oh, shoot. That was kind of even. I don't know who, who I went with. Hi again, bro. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back to the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, bro. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst in the literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Sorry, told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. Uh, I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Is it manga or is it manga, bro? I don't like, I don't want to be pronouncing that word incorrectly and then like y'all in the comments just roasting me. So tell me how to say that word. Mm -mm -mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying manga and manga. Manga's literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Brew always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even me asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. So, oh, sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Expose him! You can't cook, baby. It's all right, I'm teaching. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Brew can become good friends too. Uh, um. Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori? Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is, is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted to. How's this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she think I like despite me not reading much. 
Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it in your, at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sarori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she's waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuki is running, rummaging around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem though. Uh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, no one will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sari is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think the food do you think food will do the trick? What what kind? Uh well I guess we could Cupcakes! Haha, <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're so right. You're right. Uh, I don't. I don't. Oh my God! Oh I don't know. I forgot what that said. <laughs> Can I go back? Nope. Okay. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. Of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. What? Yeah. What noise is that, bro? I open my eyes and find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's, it's a secret. I knew it. Come on, at least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh, Sayori glances around at herself. How's it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look at your, look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah, uh, I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair trying to straighten it out. Whoa, man, you really need to, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you meanie! And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Whoa! Expose him! Uh, that's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh, hey, <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Uh, don't say that. You make me feel weird about it, stupid. 
It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest because she got some bazoongas on her probably, bro. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Uh, if you ever buttoned it, you'd have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. D don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would. Uh, anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, so, okay. Sayori like, bro, Sayori kind of likes me, bro. Um, I still, I still have some questions though. Why, when I was doing that poem, did everything come up with depression and death? Everything sad and was about her. I don't know, bro. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Bro, quit being a... This dude whack, bro. Why am I so whack, bro? Like, this this definitely would have been me in, like, middle school and high school. Just like, a... oh my gosh, bro. I was so scared of women, bro. Yeah, I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. Oh, say less. <laughs> Boggy, this, uh, let me stop, let me stop. Well, keep it PG over here. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, uh, but I was joking that time. No, she was not, bro. No, she was not. She was not joking, bro. She meant that. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Uh, Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Bro, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? E yeah, my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Alright bro, I'm gonna end it right there. Um, I'm actually, I'm very, I don't know bro, I'm kinda, I'm kinda lit about this series bro, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep this going. Uh, let me know whose poem y'all want me to read, bro, in the comments, you know what I'm saying? I don't have enough subscribers for that, but it's okay. Make sure y'all smash that like button, bro. I'm gonna continue with this series. Um, give me any suggestions, you know, down in the comments on what games I should play uh, on any horror games. Um, but make sure y'all smack that like button, bro. Subscribe to the channel. Y'all stay blessed, and I'll see y'all in the next video, man.